Hello, buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I have an awesome featured seller for you guys, and I have 34 bolos that I'm going to go over with you, and they are good. Um, I'm going to do things a little differently. I normally, um, normally the featured seller will message me on Messenger, and then I write them all out, and I am going to try and use my phone and just look at that to give you guys the information instead of writing everything out. I'm thinking that's going to save me probably 20 to 30 minutes of, you know, time that I'm spending on um, some of these videos so I have more time to research. So anyway, we are going to get started here. So if it's a little, if I'm a little slower than normal, that might be why, or it may be faster. I don't know, but I'm going to go for it and give it a shot. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button. I've actually got a little um, watermark down the bottom. I think it's the if you're facing your computer, it would be on the right hand side. Um, you can click that and that will um, subscribe you to my channel. Pretty cool. I'm learning some new stuff. So, all right, here we go. All right, the first item is this Disney Toy Story. It's like a jet wing pack with sounds. You can see the pictures here. And he picked this up at a thrift store for a dollar ninety nine and he sold it for forty five sixty four plus shipping so it lights up that's pretty cool the next item is this vintage Tommy Hilfiger pullover and it's got the spell out um, I don't know how sometimes people know things are vintage because I would look at this and I would have no idea. I don't know if it's maybe the tag or I don't know, but he figured out that it's from the nineties. He's got his measurements here. Um, he got this for seven ninety nine at the Goodwill and he paid 40. I'm sorry. He paid $7 and 99 cents at the Goodwill and he sold it for 49 79 plus shipping. The next item are these Meslin Vero Cuyo. <laughs> I know I said that wrong. Um, but anyway, let me see if I can find you guys a label. All right, here you go. I, I'm pretty sure that's Meslin. So I have never, ever seen anything like these. They look expensive to me. Um, Pretty fancy size 13 uh, he picked these up for $39.99 at the Salvation Army so even the Salvation Army knew that these were expensive shoes I wonder what they retail for anyway he sold them for $82.99 so you know obviously if he would have picked them up cheaper it would have been a bigger bolo but still making money the next item is this Portable car alarm system for Viper Auto Ultrasonic Sensor. I'm just checking it out. Um, he got this for $12.99 at the Salvation Army. And he sold it for $58.09 plus shipping. Here's what it looks like. I still have no idea what it does. Portable car alarm system. The next item is this Easton bat. And we got this for $4. Uh, now I'm confused. Let's see. $4 each bat, $1.99 or $1.99 all different Salvation Armies. Hmm. I'm not sure if it was $4 or $1.99, but he got it at the Salvation Army and he sold it for $49.79 plus shipping. These coach shoes came from the Salvation Army and he paid $20 for them and he sold them for $74.69. They look brand new
The next item is this Joe Rocket jacket. And he got this for $24. I feel like I'm looking at this wrong. Sorry, maybe I should have written them out. Uh, $24, and it does not say where he got it. But he sold it, I'm guessing the Salvation Army, because it's right under that. So we'll say Salvation Army, and he sold it for $124.49 plus $17.71 shipping. So that's pretty cool. And it's leather. The next item is another bat, and this is a Worth Mayhem uh, composite t-ball baseball bat. Let's see here, and he got this at the Salvation Army for three dollars and ninety-nine cents, and he sold it for thirty-three nineteen plus shipping. The next item is this lime green and pink necktie and here is the um, label josiah france is the brand i've never heard of it it's 100 percent silk and it would make a great easter tie so that may have helped this one um, it sold on april 12th so and he got this at the salvation army for three dollars and 99 cents and he sold it for 33.19 plus shipping the next item is this full screen, big screen, free cell solitaire handheld game. This came from the Salvation Army. It was $1.99 and he sold it for $41.49 plus shipping. I've sold some vintage handheld games and they do pretty good. All right, these strength men's training plyometric jump speed power basketball shoes came from the Salvation Army. They were $9.99, and he sold these for $53.94 plus shipping. Here's the inside uh, label. Literally, they say strength. This next item is a 90s... Um, it's, it's not a Kuji, but it looks like a Kuji. It's a Kuji style, and uh, it's a large, and it's vintage. And he got this at the Salvation Army for $4.99, and he sold it for $37.34. And he is actually the second person that I have seen that I featured that had a Kuji style sweater that did well. So definitely be on the lookout for sweaters that are similar to the Kuji. I mean, this obviously looks very similar to a Kuji. And if you don't know what Kuji is, I have a video on it. Check it out. They are a major bolo. The next item are these Danner Flashpoint Refresh, Refresh boots, size 10. Dirty, but great shape. Um, he got the, he paid $39.99 for these. Wow. He is braver than me. I would never spend $39.99 on a pair of used shoes. I am a chicken. I'd be afraid I would lose my money. But um, it definitely paid off. He sold these for $96.19 plus shipping. All right, the next one's super cool. A pair of roller skates. All right, he got these at a thrift store for $3.99. Check these out. They're kind of cool. And it says Vanilla Freestyle Pro Jam Skates, size 10. And I am definitely going to be on the lookout for these. These sold for $209.99. Now that is a bow low, an item to be on the lookout for. Buy low, sell high. I love it. Those are my favorites, the big ones. But I like the little ones too. They can't all be big. All right, this CD changer he got at the Salvation Army. He paid $24.99 for it. And it is a 200 CD disc changer. And he sold it for $84.99.
All right, the next item is this vest. He got this. It's vintage Ralph Lauren. I'm actually surprised it didn't sell for more. It's super cool and it's a great size. Um, he got this for $18 online, the online Goodwill. So I don't know if you guys have seen the Goodwill auction site, but um, you can check that out. But they also have stores all over eBay. If you haven't seen one of my um, videos, go check it out. It's the biggest Goodwill store I found on eBay. And I'm talking, they have tons of bolos. Um, I just did a video on it, I think last week or the week before, but man, it is amazing. Um, it's a bright green um, thumbnail, I think they call them. But you'll see it says Goodwill. But check that video out if you haven't watched it. Anyway, he picked this up for $18 and he sold it for $54.69 plus shipping. All right, this vintage Disney Mickey Mouse push button. Um, it's a vintage phone. It says working. He got this for $7.99 at the Goodwill and it sold for $44.99 plus shipping. The next item is this, let's see, let's call it a jersey. Uh, is it Jinko? J-N-C-O? I don't know. Raver? Skateboard skate jersey, medium shiny stitched, size large. He got this at the Goodwill, or I'm sorry, the Salvation Army for $3.99, and he sold it for $32.29 plus shipping. The next is this little Furby, and he got it at the Salvation Army for $4.99. Isn't he cute? I actually got some of these at an estate sale and I did pretty good with mine, but I will tell you these things are hard to figure out if they don't work. Anyway, I have a video on it. Go check it out. Um, this guy sold for $32.49. All right, this vintage 1987 Playmates Interactive Jill doll, untested, good condition. I'm not sure what she does. But he picked this up at a thrift store for $4.99, and he sold her for $152.50. Now, this is definitely one that I am going to be on the lookout for. Check her out. <laughs> I, would, I would have seen this and had no clue. Let's see. Remember, play with Jill in a quiet place. Okay, that's weird. So obviously she talks. It's an interesting, interesting bolo there, but definitely a good one. All right. The next item is the Wheel of Fortune. And this is another, I think it's a handheld game. Let me see. Plug and play. It's a plug and play game. Maybe it's not handheld. I can't tell. Yeah. Okay. You plug it into your TV. My husband actually just picked up a plug and play and it's a Pac-Man and I couldn't find another one like it on, um, oh, what do you call it? On eBay, solds. Like the ones I saw were different, but I don't know. So it might be a Bolo, it might not, but I definitely got to search comps, but it said, I think it said plug and play on it. Anyway, he picked this up at the Salvation Army for $4.99 and he sold it for $28.55. All right, so this is a slot car track. Uh, it's 88 pieces, AFX, Aurora AFX slot core, Tommy lot set to, um, I'm wondering how he, how he knows. He did a good job on this listing. I mean, the pictures are great. He's, I like how he's got this little pop-up. This is cool, he did awesome. I'm sure that helped sell this for sure. So take a note on how he did it, guys. Uh, let's see. $6.99. He bought these four at the thrift store, and he sold them for $101.09 plus shipping. Awesome bolo. All right, this casino jacket. It's leather. And I also love how this seller does his pictures. 
And I say that every time and I should totally copy it, but I guess I'm just don't have any clothing yet that is super interesting on the front and the back to do this, but I'm definitely going to keep it in mind. But this is from Caesars Windsor Casino. And he got this at the Salvation Army for $14.99 and he sold it for $92.39. Check out the back of this coat. Now that is pretty cool. The next item is this robotics uh, robo dog. And I actually picked one of these up. Um, not this exact one, but it's robotics. And mine is listed right now. I can't remember what it's called, but I didn't test mine. Um, I think I paid two bucks for mine, but yeah, it's listed in my store. So we shall see. He got this at the Salvation Army for $8 and 99 cents and it sold for $39.47. Says as is mine, mine was really weird. It had, um, I was, I pulled out all the parts and like one of the pieces, it was supposed to have seven or something like that, or six, and it had seven, and the other was supposed to have six, and it had five. But all the pieces were there, but there was just, they were one off. So it was almost like that it was a manufacturer's defect, maybe. I don't know. But I noted it in the listing, but it may, it may hurt my uh, selling price. Let's see. He put three or four cosmetic pieces missing, but all the main pieces are still there. That's what I was wondering if mine was a piece that was needed or not. So I'm sure the person buying it will know, but I was very detailed about that. But anyway, even with the pieces missing, he, he sold this for $39.47 plus shipping. All right. This is a kiss purse. He got it at the Salvation Army for $7.99. And he sold it for $40.86 plus shipping. All right, Mind Place oh, Proteus Advanced Light Sound Stimulation System Bundle, no box. All right, he got these. There, and there's like glasses, and an ear what do you call them? Headphones? I don't know. Not really sure what it does, but he got this for $2.99 at the Salvation Army and he sold it for $134.39. Man, that is cool. That is definitely a bolo. Let's see, light sound. Maybe I am reading that wrong. All right, the next one are these Burton Freestyle Snowboard Bindings. And he paid $17.99 for these at the Salvation Army. And they sold for $99.99 plus shipping. All right, this is Marsona 1200A Sleep Aid White Noise Sound Machine. It's vintage. And he got this for $4.99 at the Salvation Army. You can see here, it's different sound things. And it sold for $44.99 plus shipping. The next item is this Nat Nast short sleeve button up shirt, size large. And Salvation Army, he paid $4.99 for it and sold it for $37.79. And the reason I asked him about this is because I have never heard of this brand. And I'm going to show you guys the, the, lo the, label on the inside that always helps me to remember but i guess nat nast maybe is a thing i don't know anybody sell nat nast comment below if you do i want to hear about it and the next one is this lamborghini and this came from the salvation army for four dollars and 99 cents and it sold for 29.39 plus shipping just like a little model car 
Pretty cool. The next item is this Kellogg's Frosted Flakes Team Tony gift set 2001 cereal bowl and spoon. This came from the Salvation Army. He paid $7.99 for it and it sold for $37.79 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Carhartt men's. It's a Western Aztec Carpenter Cowboy Trucker Jacket Black Extra Large. And he paid $17.99 for this at the Salvation Army, which again, I think is a lot, but he sold it for $53.94 plus shipping. The next item is this helmet, um, Neil Scorpion. And it's so it's a women's helmet and it sold for $53.94 and he paid $3.99 for it. And the last item are these Jinko jean shorts and they've got the skull here on the pocket. And these are, I, I think these are vintage. Maybe they're not. He didn't write vintage, so I don't want to say for sure, but I was thinking that they were. He got these at the Salvation Army for $4.99 and they sold for $53.59. All right, let's go in to see other items. And if you want to see this seller's solds, you go over here and you click sold. And that's going to take you into his solds. But let's look at his actives and I'm going to go to highest first because that's my favorite place to look. See what else they're selling for big money. I don't know what this is. Derma Paul scalp and spot phototherapy comb and storage case. That's interesting. It must be something pretty cool for that price. Panasonic home theater. Um, freight train set model. Some more audio. This big old tent. Pretty cool. Um, Vintage Tommy Hilfiger, Timberland. It's a nice looking jacket. Some shocks. I don't know why those make me smile, shocks. Antique wooden Baki, I think it's that, is that how you say Baki ball? Baki ball? Can't remember. I know I've played it. Um, some shoes, some more coats. Stapler. Nice. So most of his stuff is um, buy it now or best offer. That's what I do on my stuff also. All right, guys. So there you have it. He has an awesome store. Um, I have featured this seller for before, but it's been a little while. Um, I've been bugging him to let me feature him again because he has such great stuff. All right. If you have not subscribed, please do that. And if you would like to be featured and you have some bolos, I usually like to have between 15 to 25. If you have more, I can go up to 35 per um, video. And it's a great way to get exposure to your store. And it also helps others learn. So it's greatly appreciated. The best way to contact me is to join my Facebook group. It's down in the description. And you can just message me through Messenger on Facebook. And I will uh, take a look at your store and send you some pictures of your solds of items that I'm interested in featuring. And we can go from there. So if you're interested, be sure to get in touch with me. And as always, thank you all for watching and have an awesome day.